Hey people, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Thanks for joining, liking, subscribing, being part of the channel, the whole nine yards. It's a beautiful day here in downtown Merrick, British Columbia. Come down and visit me at 191925 Quilchina Avenue in Quilchana, or however people pronounce it, Avenue here in downtown Merrick. Pick up a board game for the family. Anyways, guys, um, we've covered all kinds of interesting topics on this channel for the last 10 years. And I'd like to thank people that have been on this channel eight plus years following, discussing. And if you guys haven't realized, it's the comment section that actually make this channel worth being a part of, to be honest with you. Anyways, what are they trying to sell us or flip us or try to explain? Watch this. Guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to check our last mic of the night, 448. We had Uneducated Economist on, on Odyssey, unfortunately. Uh, we're not allowed to really talk on other platforms. There he is right there. Uneducated Economist on Mike in the Night, episode 448. If you guys want to come on and be part of the channel, like and subscribe, where we go live every Saturday. And what is happening? Well, here it is, guys. Pollutants in soil can harm your heart. Wow. Now that we're seeing, we did a Mike in the Night 10 episodes or 15 episodes before that, food wise, food wars, food shortages, We've been discussing an in-depth, we went through a whole list of all the facilities that are getting torn and burnt down or torched or whatever, or planes crashing into them or whatever. They're trying so hard to stop people from farming or people growing their own food. And there are some places, you could comment below if your place outlaws growing food. And this is a big problem. And I've never, like they're coming at it in a, the big coming at everything at a more of a healthcare perspective, right? There's a lot worse things than putting your hands in soil that you could do to yourself that could harm your heart, okay? I'm not a doctor, and I don't claim to know anything, but I, I just want to, want to let you guys know what is going around and what they're really trying to push here. New, re new research uh, shows that soil too can contain contaminants. Of course it can. It's like climate change. Climate changes. Soil can contain, contain contaminants. I'm not saying it doesn't. That can impact health. This includes pesticides and heavy metals. In this study, scientists focus on the impact of contaminated soil on the cardio cardiovascular system. Soil contaminants is a less visible danger to human health. Ooh, just like everything else that's invisible that they're claiming that exists, right? Um, human health than dirty air, said study author Thomas Munzel of the University of Medical Blah Blah Blah. Nobody cares. But evidence is mounting that pollutants in soil may damage cardiovascular health through the number of mechanisms, including inflammation and disruption of the body's natural clock. Now, if you watch Bike of the Night on Odyssey, you would know all the athletes and everything that's dropping and everything that's happening and the overabundant supply of caskets for children. I'm not going to get into it here, but let's keep going. And pollutants in soil. So it goes into the same thing. I'm not going to pay to, to, to read this. And study finds. Okay. Soil pollutant could be hidden cause of heart disease, study warns. And soil pollution could be also causing heart disease by uh, raising uh, oxidative stress. Woo! which leads to more free radicals in the body, which cause chain reactions that damage other cells. Wow. So they're using science or they're pitting science against us. And could the soil in which your food grows affect your, your, your heart health? So again, they're always going to blame it on some sort of climate crisis, which they have for years. Go back to the climate crisis video that we made three days ago or two days ago, discussing this specific fact and or well, discussing this specific topic, right? I don't know anything. So I just wanna make that very clear here on this channel. So pollutants in soil might damage cardi cardiovascular, we read that. And it goes back to these kind of stories. Canadian woman becomes the first woman diagnosed as suffering from climate change. And we covered this on the channel way back when it did release. And there we go, D diagnosed for suffering from climate change. Uh, after facing breathing issues. So there it is right there. Uh, there's many articles like this. It doesn't have to be changing America. It's all over the mainstream media was covering this. And if you guys don't understand uh, what was been handed to us, 2019 was the year of the protest. And while 
entire world was protesting no confidence in governments, no confidence in, you know, the whole repo market system, the whole artificially low interest rates, printing money, devaluating people's futures. Instead of actually governments be on the hook for what they did to us in the last 10, 15 years, what did they do? Every protest that they could get their hands on from all over the world, 2019 was the year of the protest. I'll make a follow-up video on this one in a few days, breaking down all the protests in 2019 and how horrific they were. And no, they weren't about climate change. So there it is right there, breaking. Look at this, year of the climate strike, climate change protests in 2019. More than 7.6 million. So there it is, squares, uh, uh, streets and squares all over the globe, 7.6 million. So whatever protests they could find, they could find, they all... They all threw it around as climate change. All the protests that were going around, these are the ones they could report on because people had signs saying we're done with climate, right? And all these protests, and I don't think that has to do with climate, right? There's, uh, look, system change, not climate change. Mm, look at that. They kind of made a, yeah, so they're 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 you, they got to be careful with the photos they post with what they're trying to tell us. Yeah, so climate world justice. So the the whole world was protesting no confidence in government and starvation all over the world. You know what they had to do to stop this. You know what they did and you know what they did. We discussed it on the show before it even happened. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to leave a, story, a video here to Mike in the Night, It's In Your Head Zombie, where we were discussing in depth these climate protests, but realistically, it wasn't. It was no confidence in governments. Chile, Argentina, uh, Mexico, Brazil, uh, France for 100 weeks, 80 weeks, um, Hong Kong, uh, Libya, Syria, Poland was protesting. I got footage from 2019 protests in Poland. Ur uh, I think Uruguay was the only country. Yeah, it was Uruguay was the only country that did not protest in 2019 in South America. Everybody else, they ousted tons of government. The Caribbean was burning. It was it was nuts in 2019 because people have had enough. People have been had. They've realized that the wool has been pulled over their eyes and people wouldn't stand for it anymore. So what did they have to do? It, well, it had to become a health, a health crisis, right? That's the only way. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please watch In Your Head Zombie, uh, Mike in the Night, Climate Lockdowns from 2019, uh, Mike in the Night episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate Mike Martins here. I have spoken.